What's up my LS Crazy Amigos? It's your boy Terry, speaking from the garage shop once again. Hold on a sec. Ah, here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info. Yeah, what's happening everyone? Well, y'all know about the Trailblazer project which I'm working on. You know, we're trying to get it tight. In order to get it tight, tighten it up, we're putting this, we're putting this truck on a diet. Some of you guys know that I'm changing this truck from an all-wheel drive to a rear-wheel drive. So while putting this car on a diet, I'm taking off stuff that I'm not going to use. All the pieces that I removed from this truck that I'm not going to use, what I did was I laid it on out so you can see how the all-wheel drive setup works. And if you ever should have to change a trans transfer case or either a front differential, you'll see what's involved. So come on over where I got it all laid out and uh, we'll go over each part and we'll even open some parts up. We're going to have a little fun. Come on, let's do this. Come on. Here it is. Here's the front all-wheel drive system set up just like as it would be in the truck. They cut it to get out because uh, some of these pieces, I had a Jonah of a time removing them and some of them seized up so I had to cut it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over how this works and then we're gonna take each piece one by one and some pieces we're gonna dissect it. Imagine if you will, this is the front driver's side, this is the passenger side. Picture the engine right here and the transmission right here. On a rear wheel drive transmission, what will happen is you have a tail shaft and you don't have the, this transaxle, uh, this transfer case. It will go straight to the back of the rear wheels. With this, this hooks into the back of the transmission. You remove the tail shaft out of 4070, this goes to the back of the transmission. So you have two drive shafts. Now you're gonna have the transfer case where it's gonna transfer power to this drive shaft, which connects to this front differential. Now from the front differential, it transfers the power to the wheels. So now this piece is your center shaft, which goes through the oil pan. Yeah, I said it again. It goes through the oil pan, but that's another video for another time. All right, now from that, it goes to your CV joint, and then it goes to the wheels. Same here. It goes here, connects here, to your CV joint, to your wheels. And that's your front differential going transferring the power to the front wheels. That's how come you get all four wheels moving when that, when this moves, this moves. On the Trailblazer SS, it's 410 gears. So that's probably why you, you can only get 13 miles to the gallon on these things. And that's the whole setup on an all-wheel drive Trailblazer, well, the front setup on an all-wheel drive Trailblazer. If you ever want to see what's inside the CV joint, well, today's your lucky day. This is it. So you got the CV joint. Now you got another piece that goes through and this clicks in here. You see how it's like in a triangle? You see? You got like a little triangle shape there. Each one of these go in there. And they spin. Now, Trailblazer SS, this is the center shaft. That's right. It looks like that. Now, this is the side of the CV joint, the passenger side. Now, this gets together, right? And again, this piece will go through the oil pan on an all-wheel drive Trailblazer SS, right through the oil pan. And um, it, this part will connect to the front diff. And just like the driver's side, hit a bump, it won't disturb it. That's the center shaft. This big boy is the transfer case. So basically, it transfers power to the rear and to the front. So like I said, transmission hooks up to the back of this thing. You have one drive shaft that goes to the rear wheels, and then the transfer case. Another drive shaft will go to the front wheels, lock it up to the front diff, and that's where you get your all-wheel drive power. These things, you gotta change the oil. I don't you know, as often as whatever the manual says, you gotta drain and you have a fill here, and uh, you don't wanna neglect. You wanna make sure you change these, the oil in this thing. So. That's the, that's the deal with the transaxle. Have you ever woke up in the middle of the night wondering what's inside the front differential of Trailblazer SS and GM Trailblazer SS light vehicles? Well, today's your lucky day. Here we go. This is the front differential of the Trailblazer SS. Now see, when I spin this, this should be, this should be spinning, but it's not because it's seized up or it's busted or some, I don't know how it got like that. It, it definitely wasn't from racing. But anywho, this, like the trans axe, the transfer case, you have to check the fluid every now and then. 
you got your fill, and you got your drain. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this thing up right now. I think I have only one bolt in it. So let's open it up. So you can see what it's, what it's made of. Now see this part right here? Ah, let's see. Part right here, that goes through the oil pan. Again, like I said, you got four bolts, four or five bolts, one, two, three, four, five. I think four or five bolts that hold this to the oil pan of the Trailblazer SS. And uh, right. here we go. See? Looks almost like a rear diff. And uh, that's pretty much it. See? This spins. And just spins. So, 410 gears, I believe the Trailblazer SS comes stock with. So, again, if you are uh, thinking about removing your all wheel drive and making your Trailblazer a rear wheel drive, there are advantages to it. And to me, and there's disadvantages, but to me, the advantages far outweigh the disadvantages because, like I said, you're gonna get better gas mileage, you're gonna get a quicker truck. Now, off the line, you may not be as quick, but you don't have that much weight if you're getting rid of all this weight. Now, I might, I should tell you, removing this differential, I had a Jonah of a time. Now, my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, if you're yanking the engine out. Take it out, remove it. If your goal is to make your trailblazer a rear wheel drive trailblazer, if you're taking the engine out or if you got it mostly ripped apart, then take this out. But if the car is together, engine together, you just want to remove this, I say take out the front, take out the CV joints, take out the drive shaft, get your transmission, or if you're on a budget, hey, use the same transmission. But if, you, if, if you're going to change the transmission over, Leave this in there until you have to take it out because, like I said, this thing was a nightmare to take out. Some people lift the body up. Some people take the engine completely out. And if you're going that route, then yes, remove it. But if you're not, if I know, if I knew what I know now, I would have left this in there. But I got to the point of no return, so I was like, okay, fine. So I had to lift my engine up a little bit. And like I said, I, you know, it saves up a lot of space removing this, but. That's a decision you have to make for yourself. So I'm just letting you know that if you're not gonna take the engine out, think twice about removing this thing. I would just let it hang. <laughs> just let it bolt, just keep it in there until come a day, you will have to take it out. So just like the Trailblazer, many other GM Trailblazer-like vehicles in their fleet, and also vehicles that are just all-wheel drive from, from GM, you know, some that don't even go through the oil pan, you know, pretty much it's the same setup, all right? So you gotta make a decision for yourself. You know, if you want to keep the all-wheel drive, that's all well and cool. If you want to get rid of it, that's all well and cool too. All right, but I'm looking at the clock on the wall. Or should I say ceiling? It's time for me to head on off and finish this Trailblazer project. or try to finish it because I want to get this thing going and get some numbers on it. But as always, like I always said, if you like what you see, hit those likes. Hit those likes. We want to do more projects. I'm, I'm so excited for the stuff that we got coming up. Just like on Facebook, on follow, share, on Instagram, on every type of social media you see me on, all right? <laughs> All right, as always, as always, please be easy, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.